1980, I interviewed Tony Thomason at his house in Grey Lynn and continued to visit him over the next few years, sometimes filming Tony at work. The aesthetics of art have become all um, important, you know, the people are fixed on that. Style and aesthetics are the two things. I was talking from the point of view, the old-fashioned point of view, of painting being a vehicle for um, the passing on of ancient myths and that um, this is a function that has got to come back to painting in, in various other cultures it's never left the visual arts but with ours with our striving for aesthetics and then our striving for individual style and recognition for its own sake striving for it doing to do something no one else has done um, it's taken the emphasis right away from painting as an anonymous communication painting is a communication in the same way that dreams are a communication. Human imagination is incorrigibly figurative based um, to our own species. You know, I could no more paint abstractly than I could dream abstractly. When you have dreams, what fragments you remember the next day, uh, have people in, uh, doing things and things happening to people, human beings. Yeah. And uh, to me, painting is the same thing. It's communicating in the same way that dreams communicate. The themes, the symbols that I use when I'm painting about a given theme are such that uh, only looking at them can, uh, informed looking, can understand them. Every now and again you can provide a verbal clue, but, you know, even though I don't hold with the aesthetics the, of easel painting, it's up to your ability with aesthetics to convey the message but the message is not conveyed the message in my painting is not aesthetics at all it's um, nothing to do with uh, you know the experimental side of painting at all it's straightforward problem of communication it doesn't exist unless it's being used I think you're just a servant yeah, and the communication process. Yeah. Of ideas that are around, yeah. the feelings. That you think are important and that perhaps other art forms are not uh, carrying so much or whatever. Uh, you know, you, you're a vehicle. That's a, painting has become a traditional form of communication of ideas. Not of ideas about art, but human ideas of uh, politics, morals and survival. It carries ideas from one generation to another, from one culture to another. It needs emotion. Sure, emotion is like um, genuineness. If you do something with emotion, you're being genuine. Um, uh, that's important. Now, it's a carrier of ideas from generation to generation, from culture to culture, from place to place. And I very much believe in the communication between cultures, particularly in the Pacific, that's going to be crucial. Tony repeatedly stressed to me that an artist's primary role was as a servant of their culture, and in regards to the communicative aspect of his painting, he would also often say that it didn't exist unless it was being used. Hanley had been out sailing his small boat on the harbour and had dropped by for a catch-up with Tony. They talked about his day.
painting, particularly since the School of Paris has been more concerned with offering, elevating togetherness uh, without the chance for personal examination. If I was doing it in a horrific way in the earlier paintings to try and encourage people to look at uh, not one another but themselves, uh, now I'm trying to encourage viewers of the painting to find a more positive uh, reason for living. Uh, to refine that mythological past that can carry you through the crisis of your life. Uh, that there are various things that you can say in your painting which can encourage people to survive, to reconcile themselves, not with a lot, but with uh, continuing as a human being. It's from our past given to us to help our future. Uh, you know, he's walking backwards to Christmas, you've got to there are things that can help you to go forward. And I think painting can be involved in that sort of communication of encouraging people to face and surmount their problems that they're not the only ones to have to do it. That there's a shared knowledge which is available uh, that um, can help you look forward to a very politically shaky future with personal confidence. Painting can be an optimistic thing.